Hi guys, Mandy here behind the camera, and I have my gorgeous Hazel Grace, my first Lee Middleton doll, and not my last. I have actually three now, three more on the way. I have opened Pandora's box. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with her, and I don't know exactly what it is about her, her cheeky face, like her chubbiness, her full lips, her, she's got beautiful blue eyes. I honestly don't know what it is about this doll, these dolls, but they've opened up that excitement again. I have been enjoying being back in the hobby and collecting um, a different types of dolls now with my Paradise Gallery and Ashton Drake. Like I have been, don't get me wrong, I've been having a great time being back and doing that. But these dolls, there's something about the hunt, looking for the perfect one that just sparks up a fire. I've heard a few other lovely ladies tell me the same thing, that they are so addictive and they are not wrong. I already have a list in my mind of the next time I build up my dolly fund, I have a, a dozen more dolls. I need them all. I'm obsessed. But, so here she is looking super cute in this, um, I think it's H&M dress. It is pink and it has really cute, um, animals on it. There's a giraffe and a toucan and I think there's a cheetah. It's a really sweet little print with a ruffly around the edges. It's super cute and I think she looks adorable. Oh my goodness. I just can't. Every time I walk into my room I get so excited to just stare at her and <laughs> it sounds so weird but I'm just obsessed with this cheeky little girl. So I finally got my Kate Quinn order, and I say finally because I ordered this May 29th, and it's June 23rd, 4th, <laughs> something. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. So even though they charge an arm and a leg for shipping to Canada, they ship with the cheapest courier, and it took forever but I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna start off with my favorite. I've said this many times. I'm obsessed with um, dinosaur print. I don't know why, I just love it. And these are really cute, uh, dusty blue colored pant. And then they have dinosaurs all over it and they are like a darker um, blue with outlined in a brown, almost a, ch a chocolate brown color. They're so cute. I love those. And I also got these just gray pants. They're those, um, I don't know what you call these pants, like MC Hammer pants. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> They're so cute. They're very soft. So the quality is really nice. For me in Canada, it, in the States, yes, you're getting an amazing deal on these clothes. For me with the exchange rate, it was just like shopping at H&M, Gap, or Old Navy all at full price. Like that is the equivalent to the prices. So in Canada, you're not getting much of a deal, but you cannot find these cute prints in store like this is a signature Kate Quinn thing these fun little prints speaking of which I got this long sleeve onesie and it is a light purple with a darker purple mushroom print all over it I love this print I wish I had have had the money to buy all the pieces in this print because she has bonnets pants um sleepers so that is really cute. Then I got this dusty rose onesie. It's super cute and again, really soft. And I love, this is why I definitely will buy from them again. Um, it just will be a little while because like I said, it was quite expensive. They have a very fitted neckline. Now it is very stretchy, not room to grow for any size doll, but I just, told you how obsessed I am <laughs> with the Lee Middleton dolls and they have uh, a little bit of a smaller neck. So I think 
these clothes should fit them nicely and kind of give them a more fitted tailor look. I got this long sleeve onesie. It's a light brown. It's that ribbed pattern or fabric. It has buttons on it. It's so cute. I love this. It's going to look super cute with, of course, I had to get some of their hats and I wish I had got more. <laughs> I definitely am going to order again. I got this ink blue one. It's the elf styled hat. So super cute. I love it. And lastly, I got that same dinosaur print in a little elf hat as well. I love these hats and I'm so excited for my, um, I have two more babies coming, two more, um, Lee Middleton dolls. No, three, sorry, three. Um, two of which are similar styled to, no, I am so confusing myself. One of which is the to standing toddler style. And then the other two that are coming are the infant style. So they are the cloth bodied ones. And I think they're gonna look super cute in these hats. So I'm just gonna try this on her. I am really <laughs> I'm trying hard myself not to be in the shot just because I was getting ready to go outside. I have my <laughs> ball cap on, sun protection. Anyways, how freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love these little elf hats. This, yeah, this hat is going to look so cute on the two infant style Lee Middleton dolls I got. Guys, I cannot wait. Like, I'm a kid at Christmas right now waiting for these dolls to come. I can't wait to show you them. And also my um, Noah um, from Paradise Gallery shipped as well. So he will most likely be here next week too. And I'm very excited for him. I have waited months for that little guy. He came out and I was going to get him. I was like, yes, I love that doll. He's so cute. But I wanted to see real life photos um, of them. It's just sometimes they don't look as nice in real life. That's just my opinion. I like to know what I'm buying and I like to see real life photos, different lighting, different clothes, and yada yada. <laughs> you know what I mean? So by the time the first video came out that uh, somebody unboxed him, I was like, yes, I'm going to grab him. I love him. He's adorable. And I ran right to their website and he was already sold out. He sold out so fast. I was pretty new to um, Paradise Galleries dolls. I only had um, Big Boy at the time and I had no idea their dolls sold out like that. So yeah, I've been waiting months for him and then finally he came on pre-order and then he was supposed to be here early June and now we're almost in July. So definitely there were some delays with that guy, but I saw Let's Play Dolls open up her Noah today and he was so cute and she dresses him so lovely and he looked adorable. She has little Skipper too and the two of them together looked so flippin' adorable. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So lots to come. Stay tuned, guys. I love you all. Oh, and just in case you missed my community post, I got in at the library. I'm so excited. I got the page job. So the first job I applied for, they did call me in for a second interview for another position, but Thankfully, <laughs> they found somebody else. I honestly felt way underqualified for that position. And I know that I did really good at that in that interview. I really did. But um, one thing they wanted you to have was a driver's license. And I've said this before, I do not have a driver's license. I have a weird fear of driving. And I'm just, I'm 36 and still have yet to get my license. They said it wasn't a big deal, but if the, this other person Person, you know had it and probably could have been better at computers I totally that was the only question that I was like I have no idea I wouldn't know how to help somebody um, in this situation but I am just excited to get in they are so lovely there and I love 
being downtown. That's where the, our local library is. And I'm just so excited to get back out there to get making some of my own money. It has been a long time coming. I'm so thankful that I got to stay home with my kiddos as long as I have been able to. And I could still, but you know, it would be great to get out there, be social, get my groove on, get my groove back. Anyways, that is all I have for you. Thank you if you listen to me ramble all this long. <laughs> Thank you guys. I will be back soon with my Lee Middleton dolls. I can't wait. Bye for now.